Good morning guys from sunny Perth, Western Australia. Uh, my name's Johnny. welcome back to another video. Um, I am heading down to Jaeger up, which is just south, well it's south of um, Perth, about four hours away for our annual salmon fishing trip, which is the reason why I'm heading away. Uh, we do this every year, a little bit earlier this year because of how the school holidays fell. Um, but the salmon are running, I've been told, so I'm super excited. Do have a pretty small crew. Um, yeah, just me and a couple of other mates. No misses and no doggies in tow this time. Um, you're not allowed a dog, not allowed dogs where we're going, and it's a boys' trip, so not allowed women either. Um, yeah, but super excited. Uh, it's forecast about 32 in Perth today, and I think it's about 20 down where we're heading. Um, which is which is not too bad. The minimums aren't that aren't that cold either. So um, yeah, should be some hopefully good weather for us for the next few nights, and uh, hopefully a few salmon uh, as well will be caught. So yeah, looking very much looking forward to it. Stay tuned, and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little update. I'm actually going to stop into Donnybrook. Um, I'm craving a bakery feed actually. So, um, yeah, gonna stop into Donnybrook. They've actually got a couple there. They've also got a massive playground. So if you've got kids and um, you want a bit of a rest stop and get the kids out of the car to stretch the legs and go for a play, um, I'd highly recommend stopping here. It's an awesome little spot. Um, I'll take some video when, we, when I get there. But yeah, I'll, um, I'm just keen for a bakery feed. So I'm gonna stop and see what they've got. I'm not going to go for a play, but that is it there. Heaps of shade. Paying at the pay station. Now we're about so the report is that the track is a lot worse than usual. So uh, I've dropped tire pressures to about 12 psi, and um, yeah, we'll just take it easy. I mean, I always do. But um, yeah, we can only see. Last year it was, it was pretty banged up, but um, they haven't had a dry season or a summer like this in a long, long time. So apparently the track's quite dry. Um, it's been dug up a fair bit. So we'll see. This is the easy section, but um, yeah, time will tell. chance to do much videoing the um, bit of a convoy of people uh, about on the track and the track is quite powdery looks like it has seen a bit of traffic but I just think it looks worse for wear um, purely because it's so powdery and dry uh, again like I said this time of year normally they've had a bit of wet a uh, bit of rain sorry and the tracks firmed up but yeah you kind of get the combination of um, people who are kind of new to the game and then soft powdery sand and then you just end up with oh and wind and then you end up with kind of all this stuff here so yeah I didn't get to do the I didn't get to video the first track unfortunately because um there was about five cars there and one guy was going up and down up and down like a yo-yo um, just bogging the track so we gave him a hand and it was just tire pressures in the end so yeah let your tires down people I will pull it back hopefully when we get closer to the beach. It's one of my favourite sections of this track just coming through here. Water looks pretty good. So this is the track down. It actually, well here it looks okay. This is normally where it gets pretty uh, rutted out and at the moment that's actually fantastic. 
Last year, I was dealing with ruts that were, um, oh, there we go, a little bit, pretty much um, full flex of the car. So it does look like it's going to be a fun time, though. Coming back up here, the sand is so powdery. Um, but that's a, that's a problem for a few days' time. Look at that water. It's pretty good. Here it is, ladies and gents. Famous Yigra Beach. It is busy by the looks. So let's hope we can secure our spot. I'll get some good footage later on. I'll get the drone up. Um, but for now, we just kind of want to find camp and go from there. Meal for a king. Freshly cooked chicken. Marinated thanks to Aldi. Just set up shop. Winds are blowing in our favour. But there's no salmon yet. But lunch is well deserved. I'll show you camp later on. spot which we've managed to snag every year might stop recording so I don't give it away this is camp just setting up the basics Adam's arrived Dean's sleeping in his car yeah it's pretty nice the color of the sky is amazing tonight this afternoon that's it we're kind of tucked into this little June here, protected from the wind. Get dinner on soon. Is that the four? Yep. Sweet. Alex was, uh, the fiance was kind enough to make us some curry. And Dean is just gonna add to this deliciousness with the fresh marin. Thank you, Dean. No worries. Cheers, mate. Salute. A bit oh, of lemon. Finger? <laughs> this guy. No, I got it, FY. Oh. Oh. This one's fine. Cool. First morning is a last night just on seven and time to cook some brekkie I think and get the rods out there bit of a quieter day today um, yeah haven't had too much luck I'm just kind of hiding out from the wind so the audio doesn't get destroyed but um, yeah woke up just come to the beach but it's blowing in the wrong direction unfortunately That's what's going on, but no salmon to record off yet. Dean managed to catch one. As you can see, it is absolutely howling. Uh, I wonder what happened to this poor fella. Wind report, still horrible. A few cars on the beach, but... I 
to show you the trusty solar shower which I haven't used, um, which is a bit cold. Thing is, um, a weapon gets nice and hot, and I can pressurize it. Um, but yeah, I've just used the water in there, boiled a kettle, and um, had a solar or had a shower in uh, Adam's shower tent over there. He's having one now as well, or just over there. It's always nice having a um, having a shower when you're camping. It just wash all that salt off and um, you know smell a muley and stuff. So at least can get into the tent and feel pretty fresh. And I'm an absolute lover of these towels. Um, they're the best thing ever when camping. But yeah, we just got back to camp. Unfortunately, no fish today. Um, we had another. We just, just had another session then and uh yeah no luck again so we'll go back well we are back at camp now and we'll have some dinner little something up there earlier ravioli homemade sauce i've got a salad going over there adam's cooking up ravioli's going just need to add the cheese finished product Folks at home, if you haven't done this before, strawberries and cream on the fire. Best thing since sliced bread. What are you talking about, Adam? You probably can't even see it in the photo. What's happened? <laughs> Gotta go fishing in your suit and tie. Last morning here today. Um, winds are blowing in our favour, but we did get up early for it, so hopefully we have a bit better luck than we have the last two days. The first of only catches. Back she goes. No. <laughs> We're hiding out from that. Not fishable at the moment. Last ditch effort for um, some salmon, however, even the damn river's rough. So I've just crossed to the other side of the uh, river, but I'll show you the ocean in a second. Check out what we're dealing with over here. I mean, the surf is naturally um, majority of the time it's kind of like this but the surf's always pretty bad here however the drift is um, shocking you throw out and then your line kind of peels to the right pretty hard so and obviously it's just a little bit uncomfortable to be fishing uh, when it's this windy I'll just show you outside the window all that sea spray oh excuse my dirty window better Still beautiful though, doesn't get old. Little bit of a bump. Dean and Adam coming now. What to do when you catch no fish? Have a big cook up. Got mushrooms, tomatoes, sweet potato, chippy later, rocket, rice, eggs. To make a nice bento box down there. A bit of everything. Yeah, not successful this afternoon. We did try. We've only just come back. It's uh, what's the time? Eight o'clock. Adam's cooking up over there too. We'll show you the final product soon. There you have it folks, doesn't look like much. But I can tell you right now it's gonna be damn tasty. Bit of tonkatsu and koopy on top. That's set. Highlight of the trip. Camera. 
you guiding me in to the campsite when I got lost with your drone. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny every time. Um, my highlight. Uh, my highlight's just good quality time with mates. Mm. And our camp cook ups. Yeah. Yeah. Least favourite part of any trip. Dreaded pack up. Mattress done, sleeping bag done. Put the tent down, load her up, and go. sure if this does it any justice just took some drone footage but um we're just having a little bit of a play around in the um in the dunes before it's time to go home we're pretty much at the end of the track now so it's been a wicked trip um yeah unfortunately no fish but uh yeah i'll um see if we can tackle this dune and then i'll get some drone footage as well